Hey guys, Monochrome here. Today we're going to be taking a look at a flashlight design that should be very familiar to those of you who have been with me for quite a while. Uh, no, this is not a rehash of my Olight M1T Raider video. This is actually the little brother of the Olight M1T Raider. This is the Olight i3T EOS Slim EDC flashlight. Unlike the Raider, which was powered by a single CR123A lithium primary battery, this little guy is powered by a simple single AAA alkaline battery. Here's the packaging, and here's the light itself from Olight. As you can see, definitely related to the M1T Raider with a lot of that flashlight's good features. Now, unlike the Raider, this is not a very small, compact, tactical light. This is an everyday carry, tackling all sorts of mundane, everyday chores that most people will encounter type of flashlight. You've got the same excellent dimpled rubberized boot that you'll find on the Raider. Excellent clicky tail cap switch. You've got the same clip design that you'll find on the Raider. Now, Olight advertises this clip as being two-way, but realistically, this is made to be carried bezel down in your pocket. And if you're in a situation where you need a headlamp, but you don't have one, let's say you have a baseball cap, you can clip this in the other direction onto the bill of your baseball cap and use it as such. So this clip design is really made for bezel down carry in a pocket or bezel forward use on the bill of a baseball cap. It's not really made for bezel up carry. It's not. If you need a small, thin flashlight and you really prefer bezel up carry, this is not the light for you. No, no. Okay. The grooves here are not quite as aggressive as the same type of grooves on the Raider. Then again, this is not a tactical light. It's an everyday carry, mundane chores kind of light. Now, the thing about the AAA form factor is that it has very few advantages over a single AA form factor. As a matter of fact, under most circumstances, if you're trying to decide between a single AA powered light versus a single AAA powered light, under most circumstances, you're going to be better off with the AA because it's going to have 20% more juice than a single AAA. The single AAA form factor, however, has one big advantage. It is the absolute smallest flashlight that you can get which uses common as dirt batteries that you can find almost everywhere in the world. That's not something you can do with, say, a coin cell light. Yes, a coin cell is going to be a lot smaller, a lot less weight, but if you're traveling through perhaps a third world country 
and your coin cell light gives out on you, you're not finding a replacement power source for it. I'm sorry, you're not. But even in a third world country, you can find a AAA battery. So that's the one big advantage of a AAA powered light. The very small form factor in combination with very easy to find batteries. And because of that, typically you rarely see AAA powered lights that come with pocket carry clips or tail cap switches. Usually they're designed for keychain carry. That means no clip, no tail cap switch. You do get a lanyard hole on the end though. So this type of AAA powered flashlight is actually somewhat rare and I have to say that among the models which are currently out there and available this might actually be the best one. I mean you've got a decent set of grooves. These look a lot more shallow than they feel. They are a bit shallow but they don't feel as shallow as they look. Excellent tail cap switch, excellent clip design, and on the front, now that's not a reflector, that's actually a TIR optic. That's an optic. Now what that means is, when you're using this flashlight, especially on high mode, you're going to get a very nice, soft, diffused beam with no hot spot. And that beam is just beautiful. Nice, soft, wide, round beam, no hot spot. Absolutely excellent on a flashlight of this size. Now, you will get a decent beam on low mode as well, but the TIR optic really shines, no pun intended, on high mode. Speaking of which, there's only two output levels on this light. You've got low, which is five rated lumens at the emitter, not actual lumens, five rated lumens at the emitter for 16 hours, and that's the low mode. I think I accidentally said that's the high mode. Sorry about that, guys. Again, low mode, five rated lumens, 16 hours. High mode, 180 lumens for 21 minutes. Low mode, that beam will reach out to 12 meters. High mode, the beam will reach out to 60 meters. And on this light, every time you press that tail cap switch, whether it's a half press and you hold it, or you click it on, that first press will always be low mode. There's no way to program this light to switch on in high mode first. This is why this is an everyday carry, mundane chores kind of light. It's not a tactical light. You will always get low mode first. Unless you click the flashlight on, quickly click it off, and then click it on again, you will sometimes get high mode because you clicked off of low very quickly. And as far as high mode, it's half press twice. One, two. There's your high, and my camera is adjusting. And then just click it on if you want high mode to stay. But that's basically it, guys. Nice low mode, 
high mode is going to be two quick half presses and then a click. Absolutely excellent everyday carry mundane chores flashlight. Highly recommended. Okay guys, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.